Hi everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs and this is my 2014 Mazda 3. Lately, when I went to start my car, I stepped on the brake pedal like I normally do and the green light on the start button didn't come on and that meant I couldn't start my car. So I tried over and over again stepping on the brake pedal. Finally, I got the green light and I could start my car. This happened a couple more times and, and I just couldn't live with that. So one of the primary components in the chain that enables the green light to come on is the brake light switch. So I'm going to replace the brake light switch in this video and show you how to do it. Let's take a look. Now I got this switch from Amazon for about $14 and the actual vendor that shipped it is a Mazda dealer in Arizona. So I've got pretty good confidence that this is the right switch for my Mazda 3. And if I understand correctly, this will fit a range of Mazda 3s from at least 2012 to 2018. It may even actually work in some older ones as well. The switch itself is located under the dashboard above the driver's legs. If you follow the brake pedal on up, the metal arm of the brake pedal, you'll find the plunger that goes into the brake light switch. Removing the switch is easy. Just twist it and pull it out of the mounting bracket. Removing the connector is tougher. I used a flat blade screwdriver, put it into this white slot on the switch and pushed it down into the connector and pushed the connector back at the same time. Eventually it popped out. To get the connector attached in the new switch, I lined up the connector with the port on the back of the switch and then just pressed it in. The final step is mounting the new switch into the bracket. Just insert it and twist it until you feel it click into place. And that's all it takes to change the brake light switch. If all goes well, it should only take about 10 minutes or so. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.